I'm Tony Hawk, and two of my favorite movies are The Naked Gun and The Spy Who Loved Me. You knew it was James Bond, so he's gonna live, but the first thing in the movie is the ski chase in which he's being shot out, he's doing all these, you know, ski stunts, and then turns his pole into a gun, and then ends up skiing off a cliff and skydiving, like, that was all about me. I love that stuff, you know? The, the whole idea that there was gadgets and it was stunts and it was literally death defying. It's not like I was aspiring to do that, but I wanted to do something like that. I just always thought it was cool that my dad would take me to movies that were a little bit edgy for my age, you know? Like I went and saw James Bond movies when I was 10 years old. My dad made it a point to take me to the movies. Like that was, that was our outing. This was about the time I started skating. So I think that maybe it was his, his way of keeping me out of the skate park for a couple of hours and actually spending time with me. First time I ever had a skateboard, I was about nine years old. My brother was skating in the alleyway and uh, I picked up one of his used decks and I just started trying it. Um, but I remember it vividly because I stood on it and I went down the alley and I couldn't figure out how to turn. And I was yelling back at him, how do I turn, how do I turn? And then I ran to the fence. Yeah, my first experience on a skateboard was definitely on a naked gun movie. The scene where Norbert gets shot, touches his hand on the furnace, and <laughs> hits the wall with the wet paint, and gets caught in a bear trap. Like, oh, that's just such a brilliant idea. We just can't take ourselves that seriously, and skateboarding is just a way to stay immature the rest of your life. And that's exactly what Naked Gun is. It's a way to make immature movies. The kind of movies I like to share with my kids from my youth are movies like Naked Gun and Airplane. Not one man on this force will rest for one minute until he's behind bars. Now let's grab a bite to eat. Yeah. Very much the way my family um, talked to each other. You know, there was a lot of sarcasm, there's a lot of dry humor, and you better be witty if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna be noticed. Bingo. To this day, it's so funny, and I love sharing that with my kids. The greatest gift my dad gave me was, was time, was spending time with me, and, and, and that's what I took with me as a parent. It's more about that you really connect with your kids, and I really want to be there for them and to, to spend that time with them the way that my dad did. When I take my kids to see a movie, especially one that might be a little edgy for their age, it definitely gives me flashbacks of, of going to the movies with my dad. It felt, I don't know, like kind of naughty, like we were breaking the rules, like maybe it's not something my mom would appreciate so much. And I feel the same way for them, is that they're like, I don't think mom would really be stoked. You're fine, don't worry about it, we're, we're good. I'm Tony Hawk and I love movies.